so here I am at a very crowded intersection and we're going to be flying or I'm going to be flying the, the Xeno Mini Pro in this location here. Check it out. the shady spot and from here is where I'm going to be launching my Xeno Mini and uh, see what it looks like so let me get going so it wants me to do the compass calibration okay it finished the compass calibrations so it is ready to take off. I'm going to do my screen recorder here. I only have five satellites running right now. It's getting a little better. Alright, so this is the normal mode, hyperlapse, we have waypoint orbit, following mode, create video, line flight. We're uh, up to seven satellites, and things are getting a little better at seven satellites. Okay, we're ready to fly. So, you guys ready? Here we go. So there it is guys, it's looking pretty good so far. It's looking rock solid. I think I'm gonna get some pictures taken. Take some pictures of this little guy. There it is, looking pretty good. I'm going to switch to video mode. Starting with the video recording. All right. Here we go. Okay, so it finally hit GPS mode, I think. Pointing the camera down a little bit. And doing my classic shot here, guys. I'm going to give myself a little bit of space because... The wind's pretty hard. I hope this thing can take it.
So it looks like we have a really nice camera, guys. I like the way it looks. Attitude mode. Attitude mode, why? I'm going to get to the bridge and back. I'm going to increase in altitude. The current environment has lost its lots of interference. Okay, let me see if I can get a better signal. So I had to adjust my antenna to make sure everything worked fine. And this is where I want it to be. Okay. Now I'm just going to hit return home. Ready? Mechanical return home. Return home. So it should go up to 62 meters and then return home. Approaching 50 meters in height. 55. 60 meters, hit 62 meters, and now it's returning home. So it's doing a good job, pitching the camera down. Oh yeah, definitely doing a good job. Pretty doing a good job I'm gonna go ahead and yeah let it go it's doing quite fine returning home we have 83% battery there's a lot of a lot of birds up in the air right above me now up there doing return I'm gonna get out of the way it's actually doing a good job will it find the apron we'll find out so that was a mechanical return home by hitting this button here guys Here he comes. It found it. It definitely found it. Not sure where it's going now. So it missed it by a foot. One, three feet from the from the. Yeah, three feet. So, all right. So this time I'm gonna do a um, automatic launch. You ready? Confirm. And there it is. Pretty rock solid, right? Start the video. Taking off again. Seems to be a pretty good flyer so far, guys. I hear a train.
So this is default camera settings guys. So I'm going to do a quick little run here and then bring it back. 73% battery. Seems a little dark. Let's see if I can change that. EV value Nope, that's not the EV value. Let's see That's my magnification Let's go to complete manual I said 100. Okay. Looking better. 250, 320. 320 looks pretty good. Let's do 320 for the ground. And let's just keep flying it. 68% battery. I'm going to get to this walk wall down here. And then I'm going to bring it back. Flying pretty slow, five meters a second. I was expecting it to be going a little faster. Here's that rock wall I was talking about. Climbing wall, I should say. There it is, right there. And it's is it going up in height? No. Just uh, adjusting itself. Okay, can I change the settings here? Please stop the recording. Okay. So, yeah. 200 frames a second. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, so you can see the rock wall a little better with 200 frames a second. See that? This is a climbing wall. Okay. And this is classic drone shot, guys. Pretty good little camera, it looks like. Alright, so now I'm going to do the software return home. Automatic return aircraft to the place where it took off. Confirmed. So it should go up to 60 meters is what I have it set to. 
and it's going to return home. Approaching 50 meters. One of the first things that I like to do is just test this device, make sure this drone can get back in case you lose power or you do the software return home or you do the mechanical return home. So the three different kinds of return home. Um, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Going right over that island now. You should see the railroad tracks coming up. I'll point the camera up way too fast. And yeah, it's coming back right here. There it is, right there. Right there, guys. Coming back, doing real well. Right above me now. Wow, there it is. Let's see how well it does on this return home. I'm going to step away so it doesn't get it messed up. Point the camera down so it can find the apron. So it's recording at ISO 100, shutter speed at 2000. It found it, will it adjust? Okay, so it mixed it. It missed it again by a foot. And it's unfortunate because it keeps heading the grass. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, 54% battery. So now we're going to do a couple automated functions. And let's go ahead and take off again. You guys ready? Do an automatic take, take off again. We're going to do a takeoff by software. Ready? Confirm. The wind is rocking 15 to 20. You can hear it on the microphone. This guy is just doing quite well. Starting the recording and going forward. Okay, so I'm just going to head and have a point at me. So you can see from my clothes and my hair, it's a lot of wind out here. We're going to be testing the Mini from Zeno. And they call it the Zeno Mini Pro. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great day to test it. Clouds are out pretty out here it's a little hot so it's going to be a good test for it so let's get started and uh, let's get this thing tested what I want to do next is do an automated function I'm going to stand out here and it... come on buddy you can watch me right here all right right there and then I am going to do a orbit mode Okay. Current radius. It, aircraft is too low. Aircraft is too low. All right, now we'll back up a little bit, give it a chance. Okay, so now we can do the execute. And we're going to go as fast as we can. Next. 
and I'm probably gonna have to increase the height because it's gonna hit those trees right up here yeah increasing height so that's nice it's increasing the height and it's able to get around the trees and stuff so it, I know it's overexposed and but yeah so it shows you the capabilities so I'm shooting in manual mode ISO 100 shutter speed is 2000 and it's doing a fairly decent job so I think I could just stop it here in a second wow not a bad little flyer guys not bad at all lower end lowering and then I'm going to stop it stop okay good okay so one of the things that I'm going to do next is um, ask it to do a every deal or a we'll do a rocket create a video please stop recording okay let's do create a video and we're gonna do droney Droney mode, 140 meters, so it should go pretty far, guys. Hey, everybody, have a great day. Thanks for watching the Duranify channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, very pretty, pretty place. So there it goes, way up there. Battery's down to 30%. So it is 125 meters away. It's got 15 meters ago, 140 meters, 145 meters. I think it said it was gonna go. Maybe a little further. Don't know. So it is now coming back. I'm going to step back in the shade because it's a hot day. It's coming back. I'm not sure if it's recording. Now it is. I guess I better step back out here so it can see me. 27% battery. The wind is just howling now. Oh my gosh, look at that thing bank. There it is. Okay. I am now recording again. And I'm at 26% battery. Let's see if we do a create video again. It won't let me, will it? Nope, it will not let me do a create video. So what I'm going to do is just... Take a quick little flight out here, guys. Low battery warning. The drone is under return to home soon. So I said that the drone's going to return home uh, return soon. To home. And there it goes. 60 meters in height, which is going to be about 203, 240 feet. And then it's going to return. I know I'm overexposed, so I'm going to stop the recording, switch my shutter speed. That's much better. Record now. Now you can see the clouds, you can see everything. 
All right, let's hope that it returns home a little better than last time. A little better than last time. You can see my What the heck? What the heck? Woo! SPV has been turned off. It will turn on automatically after the aircraft takes off. Woo! Okay. Not very good at all on that time not a very good it ran into my bag over here and the motors would not stop turning off i had to turn them off manually so not good at all a little scary so watch out for that guys when it's coming back home and it's doing the final landing um see what you can do to help it all right There we are. Good day. Good day. Sunset looks pretty good too. Alright, so that was a long day. Long day. Two drones. The Xeno 2 Plus and the Xeno Mini Pro. Both did real well. So my concluding thoughts on the Xeno Mini Pro by Hubson are these. One, I don't like that I have to get the aircraft in the air before I make any adjustments to the camera settings. I mean, it's just counterintuitive. I like to do that on the ground, make all the adjustments on the ground. But with the Xeno Mini Pro, you have to fly first and then you make your camera adjustments. The other thing I don't like is the landing. Um, the camera has to be point, pointed down. And what I mean by that is that the, the photography camera or the video camera needs to be pointed down so it can find the apron. And you have to turn that feature on in the app also. Find the apron is what they call it, which is the helipad. Uh, and then when it gets close to the ground, if it's windy at all, the optical flow camera is not picking up the landing pad and they'll shift and miss the landing pad. Not a big deal. I'm going to mostly be doing hand catches, but that's not very good. And last, when I get the Xeno Mini Pro home after flying, I have to have a little bit of battery or a lot of battery left, depending on how many videos I took, to be able to transfer the files from the Xeno Mini internal memory to your computer. So if you have very large files, it's going to take a while. So you better ch you have to charge your battery as up batteries up again to transfer your files to your computer. Don't like that. Things that I do like if the camera is a good camera. I really like the camera. I like the way it flies. It takes a little long to do the GPS acquisition, but 
overall, I'm, I'm starting to dig this little bird. This little Xeno Mini Pro is not a bad little flyer. If they could drop the price on another 100 bucks, I would highly recommend it. Uh, at this point in time, I think the price point is a bit too high for what you're getting. Uh, but I really do like how it flies. I like the charging station. Um, you know, it just it handles well. The camera's good. And uh, not much more to say. So. I'm going to continue to to fly this guy and give you guys my thoughts on the, on the Xeno Mini Pro. So at this point in time, I'm still on the fence about recommending it for, at this price point. Alright guys, thanks for watching. As usual, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, like, and hit the notification bell. Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. Look forward to producing more videos for you all. Bye-bye. There we go. One more bell.